Hello and welcome back. In this part of the tutorial, we are going to be assigning some tags to the users. So when a user clicks on this user's link here, a table of users will be displayed with the possibility of adding tags to individual users. So to begin, I'll open up header.html file and declare the following URL where I have users. So I'll call it users. This is the request that will be sent to the back end to display a table of users. So I'll create a controller that handles this request. All right, click in the controllers package and create a new class. And I'll call it user controller. Then I'll annotate it with add controller annotation. Next, I'll inject inside here the user service class. So add auto wired user service. I'll create the method that handles that request. So that is a get request. And we call it users. I'll call this method list users and I'll just pass inside here the model so here I'll return an HTML page called list it should be in the views folder And in this HTML page, I'll pass all the users we have in the backend. So model dot add attribute. I'll call it users. User service dot find. We don't have that method. Find all. So let's create this method in the user service class. It should return a list of users. So user repository dot find all. Next, I'll create this list.html file. So I'll just copy this success.html file and rename it to list.html. I'll get rid of this. And inside here, I'll display the users. So I'm going to be creating a table inside a card. So div cut this is all bootstrap by the way. Now create here a div of cut body. This should be cut cut body. So in the body of this card, I'll create a table with a class of table table hover. I'll add here a t head. And inside here, I'll add tr and create the following headers th. This should be the name. Another th, which should be the email. I'll also just create another one here and call it add. So I'll create the table body, t body. And inside here, I'll loop through the list of users and display them. So tr, th, each user. We call it users. And here I'll add the first td. Th text. This should be user dot name 
I'll just copy it and do it again for user.email and I'll add here another TD and inside here I'll create an anchor tag the class of btn btn dark so I'm going to define the URL in a moment I'll save this and test it or right, click on the main class and run as Java application so back in the browser I'll refresh the page once more and if I click on users we get an empty table this is because there are no users in the database so what I will do is I'll open up the application that properties file and change this here to update so that we should not lose the data again I'll save that and I'll use the form that we ever created to insert some users in the database so I'll post this video and do that you can as well do the same so I added a bunch of test users and if I click on users now we get this table so I'll add a name to this link here I'll call it add task and this looks much better so I would like to improve on this a bit I'll create a search input field that will allow to search for users so back in the HTML page here just above this cut div I'll create a form to be an inline form so I'll give it a class of form inline this is our bootstrap the action will still be users and inside here I'll create a div with a class of form group and I'll also add here a class of MB2 then I'll create an input field with a class of home control I'll assign the name to name because we're going to be using the name of the user to search the user then I'll create a placeholder and I'll type here search user and finally I'll create a submit button so input the value I'll just call it search and I'll give it a class of btn btn primary So back in the browser if I click on users you see we have this nice looking search input field and if I click on this it is submitting a request parameter of name to the backend so let's improve on the controller a bit and back on the controller here I'll add here a string Called name that is the request parameter and in fact we can annotate it with at request parameter annotation and also set the default value to nothing so then I'll get rid of this and instead type here find by name and passing the name this method does not exist let's create it so this should return a list of users and here I'll return user repository dot find by name 
like and pass it the name so this method does not exist let's create that in the repository and all we need to do is to create this and spring data jpa will take care of the rest so if we pass in a name it will try to look for a list of names that match what we pass in so i'll just click here and create that method i'll save it and save this one as well and we can even improve from this by adding here the following So if I send in a name that starts only with E, it will look for all the names that have an E in it and so on. If I send in nothing, it will return all the names. So back in the browser, if I just click on search, you see it return all the names. If I click on I, for example, and click on search, you see it return everything that has I in it. If I click on E, for example, again, it return everything with E. If I click on D, only one name has a D in it. And if I click for, say, SL, there's no such name. So if I put in nothing, it will return everything. So with this, I would like to do the add functionality in the next video. I thought this video was going to be short so that I would do the add functionality, but it was really not short. So until then, see you.